Hey everybody, so I'm going to demo a new functionality of the Kevishet uh, version manager. Um, so a common workflow that we have to do sometimes when we have a PR is that you open the PR and then after it's merged, you create a new issue to do like a new patch release because it was like a small bug fix. Um, so this is the idea behind this change is to kind of uh, merge those two steps into one so that you can add a label um, to your PR so that when it's merged, it'll automatically uh, update the version info in your package. So here I have a uh, PR that was opened by Kevishet updating the click dependency. Let's say click had some CVE or something, so I want to immediately create a new patch release. Um, then I'll just add this uh, label. Um, and then when this issue gets merged, it'll create a webhook um, to Kevishet. Um, so my my demo, I basically just wrap the Keb the uh, webhook that this created, um, and I will run it in here. If we do Python, we run webhook. So now we see it opened a merge request um, with 34 changes for version 0.1.1. .1. So now we can go back over to this and we'll look at pull requests. Um, and this it says that I created it just because I was using my uh, personal tokens, my personal token, but you can see that it created it from um, this PR uh, and we have the change log. And then if we go to the uh, Files changed. We see it wrote the change log and then updated um, the version with the patch release. So it also supports um, major releases, minor releases, um, calendar releases, uh, and a couple other ones that we don't use too too much at uh, for thought. But I know we have functionality for it in the version manager. Um, does anyone have any questions? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, if you can go back to the the original uh, pull request. PR. Yeah. Yes. So just to clarify, you the workflow here is this PR was opened by Odd and you. How was the label added? You added it manually. Yeah, I added it manually. So you could add this to any pull request that you open. Um, you can also. Uh, add it, like you can change the name of the label um, depending on what you want it for your project. So like in the dot 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 YAML, you can change this patch release uh, be some other label. Okay, that was actually my second question because you mentioned that you can choose a type of release and I guess that you choose that by different labels or? Yeah, so like you do minor release. Yeah, patch or... release, minor release, okay. Exactly. Then uh, side comment because of the way we have our repos set up, this type of PR, if I'm not mistaken, gets automatically approved by another bot, which gives us a very short window to. So my uh, this was mainly for like uh, bug fixes and stuff that are open by people. This was just a PR that I already had open, so I ah, okay the label and closed it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. And Thank you. Uh, actually, it's uh, by intention that these kind of version bumps get merged automatically because we trust in CI and stuff. There should be no, no really, no real problem, right? Yeah, Th this one didn't get merged automatically just because I disabled Kevishet for this so that I could test it without no. um, it doing random things. Cool, uh, that's nice. And um, you said the labels can be configured per repository in the Toth YAML. Okay, can we have a short look at that one? Yeah, let me open. I don't have, I didn't set them at all, but I can open the actual uh, pull request. We can take a look. Yeah.
so I, I know it's a lot of just uh, code right here, but um, so you can actually, um, yeah, so you can create a list of, um, so this would go in your config. Might be in the wrong spot. I think I should be in a different file. But basically, you you it's a um, it reads it in from the dot thought dot yaml, um, and you have a bunch of uh, I guess that one was good, uh, but you have a bunch of lists of like uh, it's a dictionary, and each of these is a key, and then in that key you can have a list of strings. Um, the default is just to have these names, so you see the default for a new patch release is just patch release. Um, pre-release final version, but you can add any number of uh, labels. So if you wanted major release to be like foo release, you could yeah. uh, put that in your dot thought to YAML under the uh, major key. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for that one. Any any other questions? Cool. Uh, thanks for sharing, Kevin.